What is going on, y'all? It is Far Gas here. Hopefully, you're having a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Friends, today we're going to be talking about the update that Bethesda just launched for Fallout 76 with the update to Season 16. That's right, friends. We're going to be getting a new quest line with a family in Appalachia. I did half of it during the playtest server, and I had so much fun with it, but I had to stop myself. I did not want to ruin the surprise for when it comes to the public server. I stopped myself halfway. I did not want to stop halfway through. I wanted to keep on playing. But I stopped myself. We're also supposed to have the free roam ability in the Atlantic City side of the expeditions. Now, during the playtest server, we were able to kind of free roam around the pit. So we don't know if that's going to be in there until the game actually launches uh, later on this afternoon. Today is March the 26th, just in case you are wondering. So as far as sizes, the uh, Steam had 17 gigabytes uh, Microsoft, Xbox, and PlayStation, 26 to 27 gigabytes. And, you know, respectfully that, you know, I always do wonder what the difference is between Steam and the Microsoft Store and what kind of packaging differences that is because that's 10 gigabytes. That's actually a lot. Uh, but yeah, so as far as the season's name, it is America's Playground. And we have this new quest line. Now, friends, if you didn't know about it, we have a new quest line and there is a lot of emotion around it. So I am excited to see what everyone thinks about this now we do have explore the boardwalk let's see i think this is talking about allowing players to further explore the city at their own leisure and or even take on new side quests okay i didn't do any side quest during the playtest server that is going to be absolutely awesome to see also meet with the local merchants and shop or even play part in passing on the torch within the inner circle of the oh i didn't even i didn't even see any of that during the playtest server i am super excited about that now, if you've been living under a rock and you hadn't wanted to hear any information about the changes coming to the scoreboard, now going to seasons, every time you level up, you're going to be earning 25 tickets, as they talked about during the developer deep dive. And as this says right here, friends, just like with the old scoreboard, all I added the word old, all you need to do is increase your rank is to earn score by completing challenges. Also, big note, please note in bold, Make sure you use all your tickets before the end of the season as unused tickets expire and do not carry over. Uh, also right here, challenges and the score required to gain a rank in seasons have not changed as part of this update and uh, players can expect to make progress at the same rate as in the previous season. So it looks like as it stands right now, the XP, uh, you know, 10,000 XP gets you this much score. It seems to be still in the game. So we have this little trailer right here. We'll have a link to that in the description below. Bug fixes and improvements as far as art goes. Fix the preview of the snare drum accordion and guitar. I never saw a problem with that. The graphical issue with ultrasight laser beams when using the beam focuser mod. I know a lot of people are talking about that. This is going to be nice. Okay, so this is great. Fixed an issue with a certain flash knot mask not properly displaying in the display case. Hey, Queenie, looks like you're actually going to work this time. Thanks so much, team, for that, because that was that was quite weird that it didn't work. But you know what? Now I don't have to just see the random teeth in the display case. Fix carry and throw previews in the pit boy Tax evasion now added cabs icon for the stolen winnings when viewed in inventory menus. OK, add a new player, uh, new preview when you transform miscellaneous item to the wet floor sign. OK, I don't think i ever had like an eye like, honestly i don't think i ever picked one up at, outside of being like showing it off to stream or something like that uh as far as gameplay goes the mechanical derby game now oh that gives you an intelligence buff inside of the showman's pure arcade that's really nice the aquarium sign now grants proper amount of plastic when scrapping fixed an issue where players uh would say oh let's go they got rid of it oh man so now when users are using like Tesla arcs and stuff, like using the Tesla and getting arcs and stuff like that, and you leave and come back, you see chain displayed everywhere. You don't have that anymore. Let's go. They finally got rid of it. I'm going to miss it. Honestly, I never, I never had a problem with it at like, but okay, they fixed that. Uh, players can navigate the map menu using movement buttons rather than just the arrow keys. Nice. Okay. That's honestly that like, it's weird to take your hand off and go to the arrow keys. Uh, but fixing the issue, preventing the user from firing in vats when they swapped their mouse buttons. That's okay. I definitely have never swapped my mouse buttons for that. But hey, that's cool that they fixed that. Fixed an issue, causing NPCs to remain invulnerable when not expected to. Okay. We saw a couple of those inside, like during Foshnot. 
fixed an issue causing expedition team members to be, hey, let's go. This is great. This is one of the big things that about running expeditions, people would be like, I just got kicked for, you know, and I don't, I don't know why, why they kicked me. And that was a thing going on for quite some time where it was just like random times you would get kicked out by, you know, it would say the leader, but it really wasn't them that was kicking you. It was just the game kicking you. Uh, localization, various localization fixes in all languages. Hell yeah. Uh, so we got quest, added additional quest intro animations. Municipal auditor subtitle uh, names are now consistent between enemies. A better tomorrow fixed an issue um, that prevented the quest from resetting properly. The most sensational game, the quest is no longer blocked when resuming an expedition on the first objective. That like I never had that problem, but that's awesome. I did hear people talking about that. The Wayward Souls fixed an issue that would cause Duchess to loop dialogue forever in the player choice. The luck I'm shin when confronting uh batter. Well, here's the thing. I'm not a, I'm not a really good artist. Well, here's the thing. I'm not a really good artist. I never had that problem, though. Let's be real. I never chose the luck bit. Uh, I, I normally just shot first and then ask some questions later. Um, quest targets should now correctly point between Atlantic City and Appalachia locations. Continued balance changes uh, and iteration in key quest combat encounters fix several issues with resuming speaking to NPCs after logging off during a quest objective. Fixed, an, uh, fixed additional checkpointing bugs when logging out during certain quest objectives. Continued balance changes and iteration in key quest combat encounters. Okay. Fixed the naming of the handmade rifle aligned grip. I don't think I noticed a, anything, but I am from the South, so reading and speaking sometimes are not in my best bit. Energy weapons now get a 65% damage bonus to Scorched from Prime Receiver to make it consent. Oh, nice. Okay, let's go. Berry Mentat should work properly with Kim, Kim Fiend at level one perk. Okay, nice. Headlamps for XO1, T45, T60, T51, and Raider Power Armor are now attachable to Power Armor Helmets once again. I didn't know. Well, I don't really wear that much Power Armor, uh, and I did not know that was a thing. The West Virginia slot machine UI now requests the original 10 cap entry cost and deducts the original 10 cap amount per activation. What was, was that a problem before? Purveyor Murr will only reward. Oh, oh, so that's now. I, I wonder if I wonder if that's fixed for the loot pool, like the actual loot pool. The Purveyor Murr will only reward Union Power Armor pieces once the plans have been learned. Okay, because I know my character does like my character knows them because uh, my main character doing the scoreboard. But I know it's been in the loot pool for a lot of people that did not learn the pieces. The Atlantic City vendors will no longer open the trade menu automatically when taught to. Cool. Fixed a bug where the protest sign melee weapon had the symbol of a pistol in the quick inventory menu. Changed the text on the lock and load per card to reflect the actual buffs to heavy weapons reload speed of 204060 rather than the display. Oh, that's nice. Okay. That is nice for sure. Fixed an issue where robot stein displays could not. Hey, let's go. I know a lot of people were feeling that not be built in the camp. Even when the player has previously learned the plan, I've heard that a couple of times in the comment section. Reduce the uh, damage of the Robo Brain smoke bomb attack. Nice. Uh, let's see. Standardized backpack mod names. Player can now eat meat or a corpse and receive 2x benefit, including better hunger fulfillment when having the carnivore. Hey, okay, let's go. Fix an error in the mutant's ultra sight right arm description. Didn't notice that one. Uh, UI strike throughs are now more accurate on large dynamic bundles. Fixed a UI with flyouts disappearing after the player opens the menu. Fixed an issue where the place uh, a marker button was incorrectly starting the next expedition when looking at the map. Fixed a bug causing the expedition marker to occasionally appear when making your character. Fixed an issue where the legendary item model stayed on the screen for longer than expected. Hey, I'm just glad that y'all put it, you know, to the left in the middle over there and like shrunk it down. That looked it could stay up there a little bit longer as long as it's not straight in my face. Just like, hey, how you doing? Look at me. I'm a legendary item. The world, various fixes to item textures and various fixes to floating objects. Cool beans. I wonder if that, uh, like, we, like we've noticed that little floating cap bit. I got a video coming on that one. I wonder if that fixed that. The miscellaneous uh, fixed an issue around time-gated expedition rewards and not properly uh, resetting. Players now receive a reward for matching uh, three thumb symbols. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, cool. Fixed an issue where NPCs didn't have collision while sitting. Fixed an issue preventing certain overgrown from being properly decapitated. Pollinators should now correctly explode when killed. Several adjustments were made to equipped items and apparel on certain NPCs. 
cleaned up the several typos and subtle spoken dialogue mismatches, removed some extra plans from Giuseppe's vendor inventory, adjusted NPC placement and spacing in a few key conversations. Honestly, that is a lot there there for as far as bug fixes and improvements. I'm definitely excited about the display being hit. I, I will miss chain and stuff like that, but I think there were some good spots in there. Now, here's the question, and I know, I know it's going to happen. Friends, just remember, anytime there is an update to anything in life, not just Fallout 76, anything in life, remember, something will most likely break. Let's just pray and hope that it's not terribly broken uh, later on today once we get to play in. And if something is broken, hopefully the team at Bethesda and Double Eleven can get to it as fast as possible. Remember, there are human beings behind the screen, so just have constructive criticism. Try to be as positive as you can. And just remember, there are humans behind the screens. But y'all, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to check this video out. And let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this update. And y'all, if you missed our Minerva video that we went over the inventory and the sales that she is going to have, make sure to check this video out. And seriously, thanks to the channel members for the continued support all this time. Y'all have a great, wonderful day out there in the wasteland, friends. Love you. Peace.